If my boss is watching this, like I definitely came to Target um during my lunch time and yeah, don't fire me. What's up guys? I am in the car today. So I've been meaning to do a what I eat in a day video, but there's just never gonna be a convenient time where like I don't have a bunch going on and I can just like take the time to show you my food and whatnot. So I thought, what better day than one of my busiest days of the week? And I have my work meetings where I have to look kind of presentable. So I actually did my makeup and I was like, might as well just show you what I eat, especially on a day where I'm pretty busy and I still try to be healthy. And I actually be switching it up, which I'm kind of excited about because I'm tired of sitting in front of like the same background. If you've seen any of my other videos, you know I'm always in the room. I make it like the same every time. I don't want you to get tired of me. So here I am. We'll see how recording in the car goes. And then I'm also going to run to Target because I placed an order last night for an air fryer and a couple of like grocery things that I needed. Also, I want to say really quickly about the food that I eat before we get into that. And I know I've said it a million times before, but I can't say it enough. I'm not an expert. I don't know exactly what I'm doing. I'm just like showing you what has worked for me. I'm not saying this is what is going to make you lose weight. And it's not solely what I eat either that like has helped me lose weight. It's something that like obviously is a part of what I've done, but it's not everything. Oh my God, my nose is, it's terrible. Yeah, just take everything I say with a grain of salt. Understand that your portions might be different. Your needs are different than mine. You're gonna have to adjust for those things if you even do try any of the things that I eat, which is nothing crazy. Like honestly, my food, <laughs> I get my food ready so fast. I never take the time to like plan out meals or like do anything extravagant. I damn near don't even cook. It's just like things that are super easy to whip together. You'll see I make my oatmeal in the microwave because half the time I have my, no, more than half the time, like most of the time, almost 100% of the time, I have my little tail, my son there. It's things that like he can help me put together. That's like a routine we have. It's not anything fancy, you know, it's just kind of what gets me full and what I'm content with. This is just kind of like what I try to do during the week. Obviously there's still times like for dinner, I will just order something from Chili's or Wingstop or or have pizza or just like fast food and I'm not gonna tell you that this is what I do all day every day because it's not it's just what I aim for like the majority of the time I guess I should have said this before but long story short I'm not just going for like weight loss now I'm not just trying to like lose weight overall I actually want to like build some muscle on my like lower body on my butt my legs like transitioning into this state where I'm trying to like stay lean or still lose a little bit in my midsection but I also want to like bulk up that lower part of my body so I don't know what the hell I'm doing like don't judge me if you're here I hope it's because you're going to be nice and you understand that everyone's different and you have to do a little bit of like trial and error with yourself to see how much you need to eat to be full if you're overeating if you're under eating all that good stuff so we're back in the car i've got my little guy here with me we're gonna keep it sweet and short like i said i have a lot to do i picked up my air fryer i probably won't try it today but i'll make it another video i also got some chicken breasts some batteries for a food scale that i really need to start using fitness goals nutrition goals whatever i gotta go back home do my meetings work stuff you know the deal oh yeah this was the whole point i also picked up starbucks super quick while i was inside target and this is what i get so no, this isn't the best drink in the world i know how to fix it up and make it sweet uh, i got an iced coffee basically i got five pumps of sugar-free vanilla syrup past me that did whatever the hell i wanted and it didn't like guilt trip myself Mom! about calories Mom! or all the sugar or anything would have uh, yeah, gotten six pumps of regular sugary ass syrup, the white mocha, the classic, extra cream, caramel drizzle around the cup, all that good stuff. Like, I would've got the works, but I gotta do that in moderation. I don't even enjoy crap like that anymore. Like, not like you would think. So yeah, anyway, this is my newer, healthier version. It's five pumps of sugar-free vanilla, cream, or breve, whatever the hell you wanna call it. I asked for cream. That's probably gonna hold me down for a little bit. Like it gives me something to sip on. We'll see. Hopefully it makes me poop because if you've seen my other videos, you know I could use a little boost in digestion sometimes, especially times like now where I've messed up all weekend. I ate crap yesterday too. Hopefully it gets the juices flowing. Um, I gotta go back, so. I just realized that I never actually recorded anything about the oatmeal. I just have myself making it. So let me explain. So this here is just half a cup of oatmeal with one cup of either water, milk of your choice, whatever. I used almond milk because it's lower in calories and just 
better overall than dairy. Not that I'm against dairy or anything, that's just what I chose to use. And yeah, like I said, I do this in the microwave, so don't judge me. Do you? So yeah, this is what it ends up looking like. I microwaved it for like two, three minutes. I don't know exactly how long. I added cinnamon to it and like almost a whole banana and then some strawberries, whatever was left over in the container. And I was just lifting the bowl or the Tupperware around so that you could see like how much it ends up making and kind of how much I'm eating. It actually is more than I even need to get full. I don't think I finished the entire thing. I left a little bit and even then I was kind of pushing it to try to finish it. So when I was doing keto or really low carb, I totally avoided oatmeal because it was like higher in carbs, but it's actually really, really good because it's high in fiber, it's whole grain, it's like one of the best things you could eat because it fills you up. And honestly, it keeps me full for a very long time. That and the water put together gets me full and keeps me full. If you're not a fan of oatmeal, I don't know what to tell you because I love it. Also, I forgot to mention that I don't add any sugar or anything. The only sweetness comes from like the fruit or the almond milk, even though that's unsweetened itself. And the cinnamon kind of helps give it flavor. Super duper quickly before I have to get uh, my next meeting. I don't know if I'm going to eat it right now or just in a little bit. I keep forgetting to tell you guys what time it is. It's now 2.59. It's going to be 3 o'clock. God, I'm out of uh, money up the stairs. I have this protein bar. I think I got the box of them. You can't even see. From Costco. It's called Pure Protein and it's 20 grams of protein. It's just like a snack. Honestly, I'm not even hungry. I guess I'm going to kind of force myself to eat because I'm really not that hungry. I'm telling you guys, I got used to like eating so low calorie and just staying full with water. And honestly, I'm just so busy half the time that like I forget to even think about like if I want a snack or like think about if I'm actually hungry, but I'm not. You know, like I would know if I was hungry. I guess this gives me a little bit of time to eat the bar. It's nothing extravagant. Chocolate peanut butter flavor. It's pretty tiny, but it's 200 calories, so that's a pretty good size snack, I think. Before this meeting, in between meetings, I was trying to drink my coffee. The one that I got from Starbucks this morning, my iced coffee, but that shit got so watery. I'm not sure why I decided to get an iced coffee. Like, it's gonna rain today. It's pretty cold outside. I should have got a warm one because that way I can have more time to sip on it more. So I probably drank like not even half of that. And it's all watery. It's gross. I made another cup of coffee and it's just in the Keurig and I did use regular creamer. I've tried the sugar-free healthier creamers, but it just makes coffee so sad. And I know like I can do better obviously by choosing the healthier options, but decided that it's okay to allow myself that if I'm gonna be good in other ways. I can't even tell you how much creamer I used. It's just like enough to get it to be this color and not like black, obviously. After this meeting, I had planned to like go downstairs. Well, finish my work day, whatever. But aside from that, I have to make food. The air fryer today, I haven't tried it. I'm not really sure how to use it just yet. So I'm probably not gonna make anything with that today. Probably eat something simple and easy and quick just for the sake of this video to get it done. Um, but it is something that like is one of my go-tos. I'll probably eat eggs and chorizo. <sighs> it's easily one of my favorite things to eat because I don't get tired of it. It's something that is super quick and feeling for sure. We'll see what time I end up eating. Um, Usually I'll start eating later in the day. I usually have a lot of other stuff to do before I even get to eat for the first time in the day. And today I actually ended up eating a little earlier than normal. I think I ate like at 11.30 or so. And sometimes I don't get to eat until like one 1.30. Sometimes it's like 2 p.m. It's still like oatmeal. Technically could be breakfast, lunch, whatever the hell you want it to be. Today I started a little earlier so I might be done eating my last meal earlier. Maybe like 6-ish or so. I don't know. Also, I forgot to mention today I am wearing my waist trainer. It, it's been I don't know how long since I've worn my waist trainer. I'm usually pretty consistent with it but the past like three or four days I have not been and that just makes it in a good way, it restricts how much you end up eating, helps you control your portions for sure, for sure. Like, that's one of the reasons I swear by waist training. But I'm just at a small now, you know, and I'm comfortable. Anyway, if it seems like I'm struggling to make myself eat, it's partially because of that. Like, I'm already super full with water, with coffee, and like, I'm constantly, constantly, constantly busy and have a ton of things to do. I'm not sitting there thinking about like reaching for a snack or like what my next meal is gonna be. My days just fly by. 
Honestly, keep yourself busy with productive things. Work on the shit that you want to work on. You'll feel so accomplished later that day when you know you didn't mess up, like you didn't eat shit you shouldn't. You got some healthy meals in, you drank your water, and you got other stuff done because you weren't allowing yourself to sit there and think about food. Promise you. Gotta make some goals, other things to focus on besides eating because eating should not be a hobby. I should be the last one saying that because... I treated it that way for a long time. It was something that like I looked forward to. I comfort ate a lot. Yeah, all that. That was me. I've started to like transition myself into thinking no, eating is because you need to. It's to survive. It's to give your body like proper energy, keep you going throughout the day. It's not something that you should like feel you're rewarding yourself with every time. Every now and then you can reward yourself for having done good and indulge in the things that you want, but you shouldn't be doing that every day or like at every meal, you know? You shouldn't be giving in to every craving that you have. You have to learn to say no sometimes. But yeah, let's talk about water. I haven't mentioned that. So what I do, obviously I've mentioned this a lot of times, I think. Avoid overeating to avoid snacking so much and just indulging in things that are going to throw you off. I drink plenty of water. Usually like I'll have a goal of how much water I want to drink and that's typically 128 ounces in a gallon. So this bottle here is 32 ounces. That means if I drink four, then I will have drank a gallon of water. When I first bought this bottle, I was really good about it. I was on my shit for I don't know how long, but more recently I've fallen off the whole water game, especially when I, like when I go out to eat. I try to drink out of this so that I can like determine how much water I've had. Um, it just throws me off though when I go out to eat or if I'm not somewhere where I can refill this easily. There's just a lot of things that tend to throw me off. Not that good with reaching the four bottles a day. I guess it's enough chatter for now. Daylight savings is messing me all the way up because it's hella dark and it seems like it's late but it's only 5 15 p.m. Like I said my eating timer schedule is pretty off today but you get the gist right. I have the chorizo and eggs. I ran up real quick because my son is taking a nap and I just wanted to finish filming this so I can get it out by tonight. So, excuse me, because I'm always doing a million and one things at once. This is one variation of many different kinds of eating days that I have. This is just what I ended up eating today. It varies and there are other ways that I try to eat healthy. Um, so definitely do like another what I eat in a day when I'm actually eating something a little more interesting. The chorizo and eggs is one of, like my, one of my go-tos when I was doing like a lazy keto. Um, I was eating eggs all the time. You know, I didn't have tortillas when I was trying to do keto or like super low carb eating, but I've started to incorporate them now. I guess I should explain what I'm eating, right? I use three eggs and some chorizo, and then I have three tortillas, but they are supposed to be low calorie. I wanna say they're like, the package says that they're 25 calories per, Tortilla, but I don't honestly know how many calories is in three because in the back of it and the like nutritional info thing It says 90 calories for four. So if they're 25 each you would think that's a hundred calories for four I don't know somewhere around there. I'm not super strict on calories I think I've mentioned that already like I'm not actually Tracking like my macros and all that stuff and seeing how all this stuff fits into what I should be eating It's kind of just what I've been doing that has worked. I'm going to figure out what I should be eating as far as calories so that I can gain muscle and like how much protein I need to be taking in. My macros in general, I'm gonna try to like actually weigh out my food and proportion things the way I should, all that good stuff. I'm not gonna do that today. This is just what I've been doing that's super simple, super convenient and easy. I always have busy days. I have my son who's two and a half. If you follow me like on Instagram or any of my social media, you'll see that like I haven't yet taken the time to learn how to like cook fancy healthy meals and just, you know, giving you an idea of what I do as a mom who's always on the go, always in a rush, doesn't take the time to like enjoy eating really. Um, that's all I have for today. But I do want to know like what are your guys' go-to like healthy quick meals or snacks. I'm going to start changing up how I eat like I said. That worked for me for quite a bit of time um, but since like my goals are different now I know it seems super early to be having my last meal. I honestly could have waited longer because I'm not super hungry. After that protein bar too, like, I was good. I'm still working my way to my gallon of water. But yeah, after I'm done eating, like, if later on in the day I feel hungry, I'm going to make sure I drink my water. And thank you guys so very much for watching this video. I hope that you enjoy this kind of content. If you do, let me know. Give me a thumbs up, subscribe, do all that good stuff. I probably should have put this in the beginning of the video, but hey, if you made it this far, thank you. I need to get my watch time up. Until I see you guys in the next video, take care and be safe. Bye guys.